I'm Dave Mockholtz, an instructor with the Honda PAC program at Suffolk County Community College on Long Island, New York. Today we'll be talking about Honda Engine VTEC system operation and diagnosis. Variable valve timing and lift electronic control, or VTEC, is an electronic mechanical system that allows the engine to effectively have multiple camshaft profiles, resulting in a wider control of the engine's volumetric efficiency range. VTEC has been used on Honda engines since 1989. If you're going to work on Hondas, you'll want to know how this system works. On VTEC equipped engines, hydraulic pressure is used to lock and unlock rocker arms in the valve train. Each rocker arm follows a unique camshaft lobe, which allows the powertrain control module, or PCM, to choose the camshaft lobe that best suits operating conditions. Depending on the VTEC system utilized, it can control both intake and exhaust valves, or only one intake valve per cylinder. To determine what VTEC system is on your vehicle, consult the Honda Technical Information System. VTEC allows for improved power throughout the entire RPM range. VTEC improves low RPM intake atomization, which enhances combustion swirl. It even suspends cylinder operation to maximize fuel economy. VTEC uses an electrically controlled solenoid to apply oil pressure to an internal control valve. From this valve, hydraulic pressure is sent to the rocker arms through oil passages in the rocker arm shaft. The rocker arm oil control valve includes at least one solenoid valve with one or more internal hydraulic valves. When the PCM activates the solenoid valve, the valve opens and sends oil pressure to the internal valve, which opens, sending oil pressure to the oil passages. The VTEC oil pressure switch is mounted directly next to the VTEC solenoid valve. The VTEC oil pressure switch is monitored by the PCM to see if oil pressure has been applied as commanded. Depending on the model, the switch can be on or off when oil pressure is present. Oil pressure runs through oil passages in the rocker arm shaft. This example shows three passages, but there may be as many as four passages in a single rocker arm shaft. All valves have at least two rocker arms, one primary and one secondary. Some engines use a third mid rocker arm for a higher profile camshaft lobe. This VTEC configuration uses two hydraulic pistons, piston A for primary, piston B for secondary. Oil pressure locks the rocker arms together. A return spring returns the piston to the unlocked position. On systems with two rocker arms, the primary rocker arm follows the lowest camshaft lobe and presses on the valve. The second arm follows a camshaft lobe with higher lift. It locks to the primary rocker arm when engaged. On some systems, both rocker arms press on a valve and follow the taller camshaft lobe when locked together. These systems use only a single piston, stopper, and return spring. Depending on the state, the rocker arms may be unlocked and move independently or locked together and move together. When unlocked, both rocker arms follow a separate camshaft lobe. When locked together, they follow the same taller camshaft lobe. With low oil pressure, most VTEC systems are unlocked. This allows for good engine starting and drivability. VTEC rocker arms contain multiple parts, including a spring, shim, and several rocker arm locks or pistons. When servicing the valve train, use rubber bands to hold the rocker arms together to keep them from falling apart. The PCM determines when to activate the VTEC system depending on multiple system inputs. Because of this, VTEC operates within a range rather than a single RPM value. For example, if the engine is cold, VTEC is not activated. To test the VTEC mechanical components, a special tool is used to supply air pressure to the VTEC oil passages. Begin by removing spark plugs and the ignition coils. Then remove the valve cover. Connect the VTEC test adapter to the inspection hole on the cylinder head. Adjust the regulated shop air to 58 PSI. Connect the test adapter to regulated shop air. Adjust the regulated pressure to 42 PSI. With the rocker arm on the base of the camshaft lobe, with the lobe pointing down, the rocker arms should move together when locked. 
and independently when unlocked. If rocker arms are locked when they should be unlocked or vice versa, there is a mechanical problem in that rocker arm. The Honda Diagnostic System, or equivalent scan tool, allows for VTEC diagnostic data to be monitored. You can monitor VTEC commands and sensor data. During a test drive, the VTEC solenoid command should switch from off to on. The VTEC pressure switch should change state with it. You can also monitor scan data while manually activating the VTEC solenoid. Using a wiring diagram for the vehicle you are working on, identify the solenoid control circuit. Insert a back probe. Then, using an incandescent test light or fuse jumper wire with a 5 amp fuse connected to battery positive or negative, depending on which vehicle you're working on, activate the solenoid. The VTEC pressure switch state should change. With the engine at operating temperature and running at idle speed, manually activate the solenoid. The pressure switch and solenoid return signal states should change to confirm oil pressure was delivered to the rocker arm shaft. If the scan data states don't change, inspect the oil screen and solenoid for debris or mechanical failure. If switch state changes, you can also monitor cylinder dynamic compression to confirm activation of the rocker arm. At 2000 RPM, with the VTEC system disengaged, engine compression on our subject vehicle is 40 PSI. At 2,000 RPM with the VTEC system engaged, cylinder compression should increase to 50 PSI. On other engines, running compression specifications will vary, but the increase when VTEC is activated will usually be about 10 PSI. When troubleshooting problems with VTEC systems, keep these things in mind. VTEC components require good oil pressure. Low engine oil or contaminated engine oil can prevent sufficient oil pressure and set faults. Always start with checking oil quality and level. If engine oil pressure is low, problems can develop. Check the VTEC oil inlet screen to see if it is full of debris. The VTEC inlet screen location may vary depending on VTEC system. Check repair information for locations. A stuck control valve can result in a lack of VTEC engagement, reduced engine power, and drivability. A leaking control valve can cause incorrect VTEC engagement and reduced engine power. Stuck rocker arms can cause reduced drivability or a rapping or tapping noise on VCM engines. Stuck rocker arms usually set misfire fault codes as well, P0301 to P0306. Thanks for joining me, Dave Mockholtz at Suffolk County Community College on Long Island, New York, for this overview of Honda VTEC system design, operation, and diagnosis.